Let's go, Maryland. <laughs> Time to go back to my roots and make some killer Maryland style crab cakes. Jumbo lump, only the best. Let's go. First, before we get to the crab, we're gonna saute some veggies to fold into our crab meat to give it a little flavor, texture, and color. We're just gonna dice up our veggies nice and small so they fold evenly into the crab cake. A little fine dice of some different colored peppers. You like it spicy? Throw in a little diced jalapeno pepper for a little bit of spice to wake up that crab. Always be careful never to touch your face when you're working with chili peppers, it'll burn your eyeballs. We're gonna give our veggies a quick saute in a nice hot pan just to soften them up before we fold them into the crab. Anybody know what saute literally means? To jump, just like these veggies are jumping out of the pan. Season every component of the dish, kosher salt, black pepper, bring those peppers to life. Our peppers are nice and al dente. We're gonna take them off the heat, let them cool for just a second. We're gonna add a little fresh lemon juice to our peppers, but before you juice your lemon, zest your lemon. Two for the price of one. The juice makes it nice and tangy. The zest makes it nice and aromatic. Personally, I'm a dill guy. Lots of fresh dill in your crab cakes. You can use tarragon, you can use parsley, whatever you like. This is starting to look really pretty. We're gonna add a few dashes of Tabasco. Of course, a sprinkle of Old Bay. Takes me back to College Park, baby. Time to fold in our jumbo lump crab meat. All the good stuff. Gonna break it up just a little bit. All we need now is a little something to bind it all together. So, remember that homemade mayonnaise we made? This is the time to use it. Crushed Ritz crackers. You heard me, just a sprinkling of crushed Ritz crackers. Not too much, just to bind it all together. A little black pepper, a little pinch of salt. Let's bring it on home. Now that we got our crab cake filling ready, we're gonna make some beautiful crab cakes. But you could also use this for some killer baked stuffed shrimp, but we'll save that for another day. I don't like to heavily bread our crab cakes, so we're just gonna take a little bit of panko, Japanese breadcrumbs on the bottom of the plate, take a good portion of that crab filling, we're gonna smash it down in our ring mold. Take your time, do it right, we can do it, baby. A little bit of sprinkling of the panko on top, I want you to push it down with the palm of your hand. You want to press those crab cakes really, really nicely. Flip it over and do the same thing. We got the rich cracker in the middle to bind it and give it a little flavor. And the panko on the outside, which is going to get super crispy and golden brown. We're going to take our crab cakes out and put them onto a sheet pan. I'm gonna show you how to do that one more time. Nice layer of panko on the bottom, big dollop of crab right in the middle, pat it dry, get it in that ring mold, a little more panko over the top, pack it in with the palm of your hand, give it a little flip, make sure it's got a nice layer of panko around the outside. Both sides, pop it out right on the sheet pan, and voila. We're gonna shallow fry our crab cakes. Oil should be about 350 degrees, so they get nice and crispy and go with the brown. Just lay them in there gently. Don't play with them too much. Just like so. Couple minutes on each side. Keep it moving. Go for the flip very carefully. Look at that. 
Look at that. Nice and golden brown. All those breadcrumbs. That's what you're looking for. Once they're golden brown on both sides, we're gonna remove them from the oil and throw them in a hot oven to make sure they're hot all the way through. While our crab cakes are finished in the oven, we're gonna take that leftover mayonnaise and turn it into a grain mustard aioli. So we're gonna take the rest of that mayo in a small mixing bowl, add a teaspoon of grain mustard, squeeze a fresh lemon juice, a Tabasco. We're just gonna thin out that mayonnaise to make it like a nice little aioli to go with our crab cakes. Mix that all together. We still got some of that dill laying around. So we'll fold a little bit of dill into our grain mustard aioli. A little more color, a little more pop. Grain mustard aioli ready to go. Now we're gonna take a little bit of arugula. Always make sure you dress your greens. Just a little olive oil, a pinch of salt, a little black pepper. Squeeze a lemon juice, right? Bring your greens to life. A nice light lemon vinaigrette. We'll toss them. Make sure you make those greens glisten. A few moments later. Grabbing our beautiful golden crab cakes out of the oven. We just grabbed our crab cakes out of the oven. They're nice and warm on the inside. Now it's time to plate them up. We're gonna take some of that grain mustard aioli. Just like so. Delicately place those crab cakes right onto the plate. Take those glistening greens, mound it up right in the middle. Couple slices of lemon on the plate. Just to show off that Maryland pride, a little dusting of Old Bay. Let's go, Maryland crab cakes. All right, I'm going in. Light, delicate, and crispy. But most importantly, what you taste is all that crab. 